χαριτωμένη Μαρία, ο Κύριος μετά σου, ευλογημένη η εν γυναίξη, και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου, ότι σωτήρα έτεκες τον ψυχόν ημό. Θεοτόκος, ο Βέργιν, Hail, O you who are full of grace, Maria, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, for you have given birth to the Savior of our soul. Miracles, miracles every day. I am visiting from America. We went to Rodos for the consecration of our church at the Women's Monastery, Ipsani. We were privileged to see again in age and failing health our Yeranda. We came to Thessaloniki. We made many, many prayers and at the great church of St. Demetrius near his relics and at the Panagia Dexia church right in the middle of Thessaloniki. While we were praying here, our filmmaker, George, was on Mount Athos, venerating the Dochiariu Gorgoipikoa Monastery, the icon quick to hear of Panagia. And he hoped that he could meet up with me someday because he saw our Instagram. My girl who does the Instagram, Georgia from Toronto, said, can I give him your phone number? I said, yes. He called me. Where are you? I said, I'm in Thessaloniki. He said, I'm in Thessaloniki. Where can we meet? We met and we are sending this to you. It's a miracle, a quick miracle of the way Panagia blesses us if we ask her. She and God above will not intervene in our lives except if we ask. It's our free will. Guga is a Georgian man, 29 years old only, who asked me, unworthy though I am, to make a short film or a short talk. And I gathered from his good will that he would like me to address my words to the young people of today, to the youth, to those who are 15 years old, all the way up to all the young people, 35, and 75. And the only thing I can think to say is how <clears throat> embarrassed I am or full of shame to speak to anybody because all my life has mostly been in sin. And if I think about that, it makes me want to repent more sincerely in my life. Here we are in this beautiful church of the Panagia. It's called Nea Panagia or New Panagia, which was built early in the 18th century. And of course, anytime we enter the temple of God, we feel unworthy. We feel the awesomeness of God. We feel his love and his majesty that he from the heavens came down to the earth to help us. Everything, everything, everything that God, the Holy Trinity, did for mankind and does regularly is to encourage us. And that is why when we step into a church, we feel humbled. We feel coming to ourself, to our real self, into our heart. And so we are here. Standing behind me is the beautiful icon of the Archangel Michael. Do we not realize that the angels are with us always? And if we don't, I can understand that, of course, our lives are so busy. There are so many attractions in this world and so many distractions that we forget. But that's why when we enter the church, we are quieted, we are humbled. And then all around us with the beautiful colors, the beautiful lighting, and the beautiful images of God and His holy people reminds us of truth. 
and really what our lives should be. Holy, pure, peaceful, simple. Simple, not sinful. My tongue got twisted there. Our lives need to be simplified. And when we avoid sin as best we can, then our life is more simple. And we enjoy a cup of coffee with a friend. Or we enjoy walking on the beach with a friend or alone. Because free of sin, we're able to live in holy simplicity. I wish that for myself, unworthy though I am, and I wish it for anybody who might want to grow closer to God, closer to be like Him, which is a wonderful goal, I think. It sounds ominous, but it's not, really. God made us in His image and likeness, and He came into this world, the second person of the Holy Trinity, to give us an example, to teach us the way to return to him, who is the great saint Athanasios, the caretaker of this church. I think his name is Athanasios. Saint Athanasios said God became man so that man can now become God. In other words, to become unified with God and to live that holiness and simple way that we so much yearn for in our hearts. Yes. The other place, of course, young people, that we can commune with God is in nature. Taking a walk in the woods, a walk in the park, a walk by the seaside. But there's one thing lacking there. We cannot receive Jesus' body and blood. He left us this strength to receive the Holy Eucharist, to actually take into us it's a mystery, we cannot actually understand it. But he left with us when he ascended into the heavens. Before that, he told the disciples, drink of this and eat of this bread and this wine, and in it you will be receiving me. Whoever drinks this wine and eats this bread will have me inside him. And so we try to prepare ourselves to be this way simple, and pure, and to again and again and again receive the Holy Eucharist, the mystery of His body and blood. And it helps us a great deal. And then we can avoid the traps the devil sets in this world, many traps, millions of traps he has, but we don't pay attention. We make the sign of the cross, we think about God, saying what we call Jesus' prayer, Kyrie Isu Christe eleison me. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. To remind ourselves that He is with us every moment. We call upon His mother, the Panagia, the Theotokos. Holy Mother of God, save me. Hyperagia Theotoke, sosonimas. And then we can walk freely and say hello to each other, not to be afraid, not to be suspicious, not to be shrewd but to be simple. May God give us this simplicity. I yearn for it. I hope we can all ascend to that holy place of simplicity to be truly God's children. Do you know that we have a mother? The Theotokos, the ever-Virgin Mariam, is the mother of the whole universe. She was the mother of Christ our God. And that's why when she passed from this world, Christ came to receive her soul, who became the Queen of Heaven. I think if everybody knew in the whole world that we have a mother watching over us, we would be in a much better situation. When she fell asleep, all of the apostles were gathered even though they were in far corners of the world. Miraculously, they were brought on clouds to be by her side. The only one who was not there by the providence of God was the Apostle Thomas. Just like when Christ rose from the grave. The Apostle Thomas came some days later 
They told him, our mother has passed and we buried her. Please open the tomb for me so I can see her one more time and kiss her hand. And they did. They opened the tomb. There was nothing there. Of course, is it even possible to think that the woman who carried in her womb for nine months and raised as a little boy, the savior of the world would be corrupted into the ground like the rest of us will? No, she was lifted up into heaven. This is what we call the assumption, the assumption of the Theotokos. We call the falling asleep, chemesis, and the metastasis, the assumption of the Virgin Mother into the heavens. And now she, as the Queen of Heaven, continuously, every moment, every day, prays for the whole world. We all have a mother. And for this, I think, personally, we can be grateful and glad. Θεο το και παρθένε, χαίρε και χαριτωμένη Μαρία, ο Κύριος μετά σου, ευλογημένη η εν γυναίξη, και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου, ότι σωτήρα έτεκες των ψυχών ημών. Θεο το κόσο βέργιν, Hail, O you who are full of grace, Maria, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, for you have given birth to the Savior of our souls.